my peak experience in CYA, of course, it was my life in the Spirit Seminar or a Christian life program where I gave my life to the Lord. And in the Christian life program, the most important or high point of my experience was when I gave my life to the Lord. I remember it vividly. I was with several, seven other men in a small room in our school. And I remember sincerely experiencing this desire to give my life to God. And when I gave my life to God, I remember experiencing really tremendous peace. So I would say that that's my peak experience when I gave my life to God. Being given various services and engaging in mission trips were the highlights of my stay in UPCYA. This allowed to me to deepen my relationship with God, our brothers and sisters, and have a vision beyond university. Worship and fellowships, of course, were significant components of my student life. You know what, what? That question is very interesting. It says when, how, what helped me remain enthusiastic. But one of the first things that I learned in CYE is this very simple principle: you love God, you choose to follow God, not based on your emotions, because you are supposed to follow and love God as an act of the will. And so I learned in CYE. Even if your emotions go up and down, your choice can be consistent. And that's why probably I never really even wondered whether I was enthusiastic or not. But of course, what helped also, a part of the choice of loving God was also loving your brothers and sisters. Not just because of your feelings, but because of this choice to love them. And I think I experienced the same thing from them. So I ended up de developing really deep friendships uh, with the people that I met when I was uh, just new in CYA. And many of them are still my friends today. So what made you affirm enthusiastic? I think that those things came second to that simple teaching that I learned in CYA. See, why is about ano, eh, making a choice. Eh. Kay Cristo buong buhay habang buhay nga daw. Eh. <laughs> so, ibig sabihin, pipili ka. Kasi hindi ka magbabago ng isip. So, I think that, that in itself was already something that helped me um, keep going. I'd like to think that what Pope Francis said during the World Youth Day about going out into the streets and making a mess is one of the best contributions that you and CYA, my brothers and sisters in CYA, have been able to do in, in your own lives. You've been able to infect and affect all those around, it, around you by just being who you are by your by your energy, by your excitement, by your joy, that you have made a mess in the streets in declaring the good news of, of Jesus coming into this world to love all of us. So my brothers and sisters in CYA, continue, continue creating a mess in the streets, being excited about sharing the gospel message with not just your peers, but with all, all the peoples whom you may come in touch with in your day-to-day -day lives. I'm not so sure if I can name three, but they only have one um, vision or conviction that I want to see in CYA always. And that is, I want CYA to be a movement wherein young people 
can be so enthusiastic about following the Lord that they would come out of their experience of CYA wanting to be missionaries. And I want our programs and everything that we do designed to confront the issues young people face today and not only confront it, but challenge them to make a choice for Christ in a radical way that they would want to be missionaries. So, again, as I said, um, at the beginning, my peak experience in CYA was when I gave my life to the Lord. And that was so deep that I wanted to share that experience with other young people and, uh, and later on to as many people as I could. Uh, my dream in CYA, for CYA, is that we don't stop producing people who are so convinced of sharing the gospel to others. So, I don't know how to make that concrete, but I think that's what I wish CYA to be, that it won't stop being that kind of movement. My nightmare about CYA <laughs> is it becomes just an ordinary organization, people have fun, but it won't produce young people who are convinced about the Lord and about bringing the gospel to others. That will be a sad experience because that won't be CYA. I would really like to see CYA engage more in mission, growth, and bigger service to the church and community. Yesterday I was in Pampanga for the covenant acceptance of eight couples uh, for Bale Ninguino community. And notably, the core group of around four brothers who, are the, who represent the Council of Coordinators were participants of uh, the CLS we gave in 1991, the first mission trip given by CYA then. Who would have thought that years later, these brothers from that group would come together and form Balininginu community? And even out of that group came two priests. Uh, so, uh, who knows, you know, as we continue to serve in CYA. What would be one of my dreams uh, and hopes for you in the coming days and in the coming months and years? That you will raise up from among you good leaders who will continue to bring the torch to all the universities and campuses uh, where the Holy Spirit will, will lead you to, guide you to, and use you to be his agents of of love and change, agents of bringing the good news of God's love to, to everyone. So continue the good work that God has begun in your lives, in you and through you. May you set the world ablaze, ablaze with the Holy Spirit, ablaze with the Spirit's energy, excitement, adventure. The Holy Spirit drawing us all back home together as one big loving family. <laughs>